And I'm only doing, uh, how many we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, just to kind of give you guys an idea how this thing works. Um, but I can do, I could probably do, you know, at least a hundred, maybe more. Um, you know, depending on how close I can space them here. Um, this is what they're looking like. Okay, see them hanging in there. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we got our our power source all hooked up, and we're ready to go. And uh, I'm not gonna I'm gonna turn the camera off while they sit there and plate. I'm not gonna bore you guys to death with them sitting there plating. Um, it doesn't take too awful long. Um, I'll probably have it on there for a couple minutes anyway. Um, so I'll, I'll go ahead and turn the camera off and I'll turn it back on uh, when we get them out of the bath here. Alright, so these bullets have been in here for about um, going on almost 10 minutes now. And uh, let's get a look at and uh, let's get a look at a let's get a look at them and see what they look like. Give it a dip in our water here. So that's what we're looking like. It looks to me like it could go a little bit longer. Um, I can still see, you can see at the very top here, it's a lot heavy, heavier than it is down here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put them back in and um, let them go just a little bit longer here. Yeah, they're all pretty, they're all pretty much the same. Alright, um, anyway, I'm going to let them go a little bit longer, let them keep cooking. Um, but I think you guys got the general idea how, how we do it and, uh, and how it's done. So um, feel free to contact me anytime if you need any more information on this. Um, I'd be happy to answer any questions that anybody has about it. Um, I'm, having, I'm having a lot of success with it. I'm really happy with it. Um, so the next step of the project is going to be to go ahead and load them. I'm not going to actually load the 9 mils. I got the 45. Um, I'm going to load 45s. I got a bunch of 45s already plated, set up in the loading room. In the loading room, the uh, the, the lead load master is already set up for 45, so that's what I'm going to do. I just wanted to show you guys how to do that. So that's why we're using the 9 mil. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off now. Go up into the reloading room, and load some bullets, and uh, we'll see you then. Okay, so here we are in the re reloading room, and um, I have some of the 45s. We're getting ready to load. What I like to do is I like to size them. I don't put lube in them, but I do uh, I do put them through the lubricizer, um, just to kind of resize them because the copper plating has increased the outside diameter. So what I like to do is, um, since we're not putting any lube in them, I like to use a little uh, little swedging lube on the outside of them just to just so my my uh, sizer die doesn't get scratched or anything. Let me show you what they look like. Got a bunch of them made up and they're still on their hanger, so I just go ahead and untwist these. And uh, you can save these and reuse them. So just kind of put them back in the pile. Here's our bullet. Okay. Like I said, I put a little swedging lube on here. And uh, I'm not really sure. I think I might have a little lube in my lubricizer from when I was making some casts, but we'll, we'll see. Let me sh see what we got going on here. Yeah, there's still a little bit of lube left in there, but I can wipe it out so we can see. Now, the uh, lubricizer does does not take the uh, plating off it. The the copper plating stays on. Okay. Get a good look at that, everybody. Um, so I'll just go ahead and do that, 
you know, for a bunch of them, I'll make about eight of them up or so, and, um, uh, you know, we'll load them in the, uh, the lead, the lead press here, but, uh, let me go ahead and turn the camera off, and I'll turn it back on when we get ready to actually load it into the brass. Okay, so we got these bolts loaded. I'm sorry, guys. I thought I had my camera running when, uh, when I didn't. Um, I thought I had my camera going when I was loading those, but uh, this is what they look like when they're all loaded. All right, and. Uh, Okay, so um, so that's what we're looking like. Let me go ahead and get a close up if I can. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go down to the we're going to go down to my shooting range, and uh, we're going to put some down range. I'm going to try to catch them, and uh, we'll see what the what the uh, see if any of the uh, copper peels off or see what the results are. All right. All right, so we're here at the range, and we're getting ready to. Uh, we got our copper-plated bullets, uh, getting ready to send them down range, and uh, there's our target over there. And uh, we got we got some paper in there. We're going to catch them. So let's uh, go ahead and put them down range. So uh, we're back from the range, we're home now, and uh, recovered the bullets, and uh, this is what we came up with. Alright, let's see if I can get a close up here. Alright, so here's four recovered bullets, and uh, as you can see, most of the uh, copper is off of them. Um, oops. you can see, you know, some, some remained, um, let's see if I can get the camera to focus here. It's not really going to focus. Um, I'm not really sure how well you guys are going to be able to see this anyway. Um, most of the copper's off. There's some copper still on there. Um, you can see it's in the lube grooves. Um, and there's some squished into the lead. Now, the interesting thing is the the barrel of my 45 is not leaded. And when I when we dug these out of the the books that we were shooting at, I was I was shooting at a bunch of pamphlets inside of a cardboard box inside where the bullet stopped um, was just all the little copper shrapnel so the copper's not being peeled off in the barrel um, I think that we need to do a little bit further uh, testing with this maybe shoot into some uh, one gallon milk jugs um, and uh, you know do it that way um, but anyway just wanted to say this is the way that uh, I do my plating I, I like the plating idea it works out what really well for me if you guys are into it I hope that uh, you your your creations better than mine and uh, just wanted to say uh, thanks for being a member of ATG family thanks a lot for watching